Hey, this is Rob from the YouTube channel Rob Motive, coming at you from the sunny state of Texas, USA. And you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. Good morning, everybody, from the forests of the mountains of British Columbia. We're here at this rest area. Woke up getting our day going. I was gonna go show you that caboose over there, but a big tour bus just showed up. And apparently, there's about 50 seniors right now that are walking all over that touristy caboose area that I was gonna show you. Remember we showed you a little bit last night? We'll have to show you next time. It's pretty busy there right now. I'm sure they don't all wanna be on, on film. But I found out where all those mosquitoes came from yesterday. Man, were they bad. All this still sitting water right in here. But there's a train track right there too. So we had trains just roaring through here last night. I actually kind of liked it. I like that sound. There's some sounds at night that I like that sort of soothe me. There's other sounds that I really don't like. Like reefers and engine fans that keep kicking on and off and on and off and on and off. A little tip for you, if you have an engine fan and you have an engine fan button, just click your fan on during the night so it stays on. That way your engine stays cool and people outside your truck don't have to deal with you know, it kicking on and kicking off and kicking on and kicking off. At least then it's a steady sound, if you want to. Diesel, what do you want to do? You want to go and check out? I don't know if you want to go down there, man. It's a whole different region than we're used to. I don't know what kind of critters they got out here. It's like a whole different world than Manitoba. All the plants are different. All the animals are different. Oh, they even got a fence back there. I see that now. So we couldn't go check out the tracks even if we wanted to. Probably a good idea because you know someone would get hit by the train. Diesel, where are you going? What are you doing down there? What are you doing? I'm trying to find your perfect spot, man. Oh, you woke up all the mosquitoes. Oh, geez. Hurry up, bud. Come on. So we're still tied down nice and tight. I'm taking these to Owatonna, Minnesota for next Tuesday. By the time you watch this, I'll probably been and gone already, but I gotta get rid of these tarps back at the yard. These four on the very back are not mine. Those four there are. Time to get going. Air conditioning is such a wonderful invention. Alright BC, I gotta get out of here. Apparently there's gonna be storms in southern Alberta today. My mom just messaged me warning me about it. She had heard it on the news. I hope it's fake news, but we shall see. I don't know what kind of storms they're predicting, but she said they're expecting some pretty bad storms there. And we'll be there, uh, a few hours, several hours. It's been two and a half hours, and I haven't had my coffee today yet. Starting to go a little crazy, I think. The colors are fading around me. The beautiful greens and blues just turning to gray. I need coffee. Good news though, we're coming into Golden, British Columbia. 
which is where I plan to stop and get said coffee. I am not able to get there fast enough. Don't worry, we're obeying all posted speed. Oh, here it is right here. Nice, sooner than I thought it was. The school bus was making sure we obeyed the, the speed limit. They were driving like a school bus should, cautiously, really, really cautiously, around every corner. It's gonna be nice to be free of that. I wonder where they're going. Heh, I know where I'm going. I'm going to get some liquid life. Here we go, there we go. There is a Tim Hortons right next to this Husky, but I'm gonna go get some Husky coffee, because in my opinion, it's better. Better than the Tim Hortons coffee flavored water. I wonder how long it's gonna be before they take away this parking from us too, eh? I'm glad I didn't go to that uh, gravel parking lot that I was planning on going to yesterday in Revelstoke. They closed it off too. I don't know why, I think it's for construction. Sure is getting a little frustrating already with all the parking that we're losing. I mean, we already had a lack of parking before, and now it seems this summer especially, they're just closing down. Closing down a lot of parking spots for us. Because this lot that I'm in is empty now, but uh, it fills up very quickly at night. There's only room here for what? 10, 15 trucks if people park properly and park straight, which you know they never do. They pull in however they want and just pull the brakes and go to bed. Don't even straighten out and they end up taking up three or four spots each. But I need my coffee. I'll be right back. Our sunny skies are turning more and more overcast and cloudy. I think this bad weather my mom had heard about in Alberta might be, in fact, a fact. I hope not. She was saying there's supposed to be large hail and huge, large, uh, huge gusts of wind. Eh. Doesn't sound very fun. What does sound fun though is getting out of these mountain roads onto the prairie highways where we can actually pass people. So much construction in BC. Well, we're in Alberta now already, but through the Rockies here on Trans Canada. Tons of construction, so if you're coming this way, be prepared to uh, add an hour or two, maybe even three onto your route through here. Don't know if it would add three hours on, but it does add quite a bit of time. I, I should be almost by Calgary right now. Actually, I should be around Calgary, I'm still an hour away. But it seems that they're redoing or expanding the entire highway all at once. I always think it's better, you know, do it section by section. That way there's one construction zone and then free moving traffic. But no, they do the whole thing all at the exact same time. So there's construction through the entire province. Uh, I've seen that in the US too. Is Ohio done their construction there yet? I remember, I haven't been there in a long time, but I remember going through there and the entire state was under construction at the same time. It's like, I don't know why they can't just do, you know, do one section, finish it. All right, move down the road to the next section, finish it. I don't know, maybe it gets done faster this way. Either way, I don't know where you're from, but around around here, up here in Canada, if they start a construction project, it's, it's going to take a really long time. You, you know that. And probably go over budget. Hey, we're out of that zone now, so that's good. I think these are the last mountains we just gotta get around and we'll be out on the open prairie again.
Medicine Hat, Alberta. I decided I'm going to stay the night here. Uh, I'm going to have some early mornings this weekend. I'm going out for breakfast with my friend James early in the morning on Saturday. And uh, we have a Father's Day gathering on Sunday. And I've got to get up early to get the lawn mowed. So I figure I'll get my schedule on track now. Go to bed a little earlier. Well, it's not that early right now. But I'll get up early tomorrow. It'll be a bit of a long day. But at least I'll be tired when I get home. And I can fall asleep. And uh, I'll have to be up at like 5 in the morning on Saturday morning. So I'll fuel up now and find us a parking spot and go straight to bed. Uh, hi, my name is Jeff. This is Duncan. And this is Bella. And we're from Springfield, Massachusetts. And we watch Trucker Josh Vlogs.